let us discuss first the difference between truth and opinion. So what is truth? Truth expresses only what actually happened or what could be proven by objective data or those events that we experienced, that we felt, that we saw, or in short, that perceived by our senses. That's why they can be proven or they can be tested or they can be verified because there are objective data or concrete evidences that can support to our claim that this particular statement is true. Specifically, truth is a statement that can be proven true or false. Yes, because if our data or evidences affirm our claim to be true, therefore it is true. Otherwise, it is false. Number two, truth is objective. Yes. If our claim is true, it is not based on our attitude or feelings or emotion. Therefore, it is objective. It's truth. Okay. Number three, truth is discovered. It is discovered because based on our evidences, our claim is found to be true. We discovered it is true because there are details that support our claim that is True. Okay, number four. Truth states reality. Yes, it states reality. Remember from our previous lesson, reality are those objects that are existing, whether intrinsic or extrinsic objects or things. So, if they are existing, they are true because reality is one of the foundation of acquiring knowledge, which the ultimate goal is the truth. And number five, Truth can be verified. Truth can be verified if we are in doubt about this particular thing. We can verify it based on the evidences presented. Okay, those are specific statements or descriptions about truth. Okay, so this is an example of truth. The statement is, in 1946, the American government granted the full independence to the Philippines. Okay. This is an example of truth. Why? First, you can verify it in any number of references or history books. Another, the language used in the statement reveals nothing about the author's feelings toward the event. So, pwede mo siyang i-verify sa kahit anong references, special history book, that if you are going to history book, you will find this statement you will find this argument that the American government granted the full independence to the Philippines in 1946. And another is, wala raw attitude, feeling, or emotion, or words na nag uh, point sa feeling, emotion, or attitude no speaker or author. That's why it is truth. Okay, let's move on with opinion. Opinion expresses an attitude towards something. It makes a judgment, view, or conclusion. Okay, yes, this is our attitude, judgment, or view about a particular author. Opinion involves our feelings, our thinking about this thing that makes it cannot be proven, unlike truth. Okay, so opinion is quite different from truth. Sabi nga, Pag sinamahan daw na raw natin yan ng ating feeling, any word coming from our emotion, based on our thinking, it is opinion. So, lalayo niyan sa facts or truth. Okay, specifically, an opinion is a statement that cannot be proven true or false. Yes, how can you prove it? It is based on your feeling. It is based on your emotion. It is based on your attitude because the opinion or the attitude, the feeling of others may be different from you. Okay, that's why an opinion is a statement that cannot be proven true or false. Again, because it is based on our own view, our own judgment or conclusion. Okay, number two, an opinion is subjective. Yes, it is subjective because our basis here is our own feeling or thinking about this particular object. Sabi nga, kapag ang iyong pahayag or statement 
ay sinamahan mo na ng iyong feeling, attitude, emotion. Ikaw ay nagiging subjective na. Kasi, if it is objective, you will disregard your biases, you will disregard your uh, emotion and feeling toward this particular object or thing. Okay, number three, an opinion is created. Why do we say that an opinion is created? Okay, it is created because we can form our own opinion based on our personal belief, feeling, emotion, and attitude. Napakadali raw gumawa ng opinion kasi yun yung pananaw mo, yun yung paniniwala mo, feeling mo, emotion mo, attitude mo toward a particular object or thing. That's why an opinion is created. Okay, number four, an opinion interprets reality. If truth class is this reality, an opinion interprets reality. Okay, we can say that an opinion interprets reality because that is our own attitude or belief toward reality. Our belief or feeling may be different from the feeling or belief of others. So we have different interpretations or opinions toward something. So whatever our feeling toward this object, it is considered as our interpretation. So that's why all interpretations can be considered subjective. Okay, number five, an opinion cannot be verified. Yes, an opinion cannot be verified because that is the interpretation of the person towards something. O yung sinasabi ko, paano mo i-verify ang isang opinion ay paniniwala, yan ay nararamdaman, yan yung attitude ng author or ng taong nagsabi niyan. So pag sinabi mo, ay, Pwede ka bang i-verify yung sinabi mo? Okay. So, sasabihin niya, how can you verify it? Ito ay paniniwala ko. Iba ang paniniwala mo sa paniniwala ko. So, kaya sinasabi lagi natin, respect is other's opinion. Okay. Let's see the example. Okay. The statement is, America's treatment of the homeless is a disgrace. Now, why it is considered as an opinion? Look. From the word disgrace, it tells readers how they should feel about the subject of homelessness in America. Look, and feelings cannot be checked for accuracy, as what I have said, because the feeling of others is different from the feeling of you and other uh, people. Once language brings emotions into the picture, yan sinasabi ko ngayon, we have begun to move away from the word of truth. Basta raw ang isang pahayan, ang isang bagay ay sinamama ng iyong ano, uh, nararamdaman, uh, ng iyong pananaw. Ito ay unti-unti nang lalayo ang katotohanan dito. So, again, we must disregard our biases, our feelings, emotions, and attitude in order for us to uh, establish truth.